I miss my dad a lot. Uh, he was diagnosed with small cell lung cancer on July 4th, 2011. And um, on September 4th of 2012, he passed away. As you can imagine, I, like any son, want to remember the best of my father. Um, as I was writing his eulogy, I really tried to reflect on my father's life and the lessons he taught me. But what my father did do was keep his promises, particularly to me and my brother Greg. And I kept coming back to the promises he made and the promises he kept. He, he really taught us to be true to our word, you know, keep our promises. And, and now that's why I started, because I said I would. Too often we make promises, little and big, that we do not honor. A promise to your dad, a promise to yourself, it becomes easy to say, I'll get to it tomorrow. Wei Min Sheen, known as Al, never wrote a book or never met a president or won a marathon in most regards, said his son Alex at his father's funeral last month. He was as ordinary as they come. But the Columbus area man kept his word, and that's powerful. It's 9.53 on August 25th, um, and your grandpa has cancer, and he's... He's dying. What a, what a contagious concept because I sure. feel like your dad is going to continue to live on yeah. in so many of us because of such a beautiful gesture. Here's your grandpa. I want my kids, my grandkids, to be healthy and understand what is good. What is not. We need to realize how important our word is and, and what it means. So I started because I said I would based on the concept of what I call a promise card. They're really simple to use. All they say is because I said I would and nothing else. What you do is you write a promise on the card, uh, a commitment, maybe something you've been putting off. This could be a promise to yourself. It could be a promise to another. And you, you write that commitment on the card and you give that to a person you're making that commitment to. You say, I'm going to fulfill this promise. And when I do, I get this card back. You go, you fulfill your promise, you earn your card back and you keep it as a reminder that you're a person of your word. So a New Year's resolution is really the first promise of 2013. You know, whether that's a promise to yourself or maybe a commitment to another, you know, we tell ourselves that, you know, this is the year that we're going to do it. You know, whether it's quitting smoking or losing weight or traveling more, whatever that might be. I want to help people, you know, remember why it's so important that we reach our goals. Why it's so important we stay true to our commitments. And so this year we're doing the Promise Wall event. The Promise Wall is a poster with these cards printed on them. It's the opportunity to, for someone to go up to write their promise, their New Year's resolution, on the wall for the world to see, for them to see themselves. And by sharing that message, sharing that New Year's resolution, it encourages others to go after that goal, to go after their own goals. Because I said I would started with my father, but it lives on through you. People have taken this message and applied it to their own lives because a promise can mean so much. I've been sending promise cards to anyone who requests them all throughout the world. Like the promise wall, these cards encourage us to stay true to our word, to remember the importance of a promise and what it says about your character.